With the final day of November 2023 about to end, the Bitcoin Moon Boys gather as many speculate December to be the month that the juice is set loose. But is there one chart that the baby bulls are ignoring that is destined to leave the baby bears giggling with joy like a middle-aged woman at an all-you-can-drink multi-level marketing scheme party? Right now, Bitcoin is in the middle of one of its biggest moves in the history of mankind. And we're going to be jumping into exactly what's happening on Bitcoin's chart. Because as many of you guys know, Bitcoin has clearly been outperforming the past two months. It's been doing something extremely familiar and extremely telling as well. And here we are. Here we sit at a make or break level stu still below 40,000 US dollars. Are we going to actually get that move to about 40K? Are we about, you know, or are we about to be flushed, drained even, um, completely dumped, bigger than you could ever imagine? So as we're about to begin the new month of December, I do think it's important to recognize a tweet here. Crypto McKenna highlighting that December is the month, in his opinion, spot ETFs are approved. So strap in and might I add, strap on. Um, 50,000 before the end of the year, he says here. Um, one of the reasons he said this is because he quote tweeted they, a wallet accumulated about half a billion dollars of Bitcoin at an average price of about 37,000 between, well, basically sent in the last month. Now, who could this be? Why could they be accumulating so much Bitcoin? Is something very big on the way? Are we about to see a bust unlike any bust that we've ever seen? Well, clearly, I believe this bust to be true. So one of the first things also I want to jump into on, on the charts is the entire cryptocurrency market cap right here. Um, where we are right now at about one point, a little under 1.4 trillion US dollars in, in my opinion, is very reminiscent to back here in August of 2020. Um, as we were kind of exiting massive dumpulation and beginning some massive gainers. Uh, we had basically one gigantic previous resistance level um, right around uh, about 350 billion US dollars that, I mean, once things really broke out there, that's when the real party started. And you can see the price clearly went from about, you know, $350 billion to, uh, it's actually still insane to think about this, about 3 trillion US dollars. And the low of this cycle has been about 750 billion, whereas the low of the previous cycle was about um, a little less than 100 billion. So our low of this cycle has been over seven times higher than the last low. And that's always important to highlight what the dumpiest, compare the dumpiest of a, of a bear market to the dumpiest of another bear market, just like it's important to compare the top of a bull market to the top of another bull market, right? And this is the entire cryptocurrency market cap. It factors in everything. And, um, you know, even just looking at this, it is kind of interesting, this pretty much uh, head and shoulders pattern that had formed here on the entire crypto market cap chart that led into a 2 trillion to less than a trillion, about 750 or $770 trillion valuation in really um, just a few quick months. But now we're rising from the ashes. This is very good. This is extremely big. And Bitcoin is continuing to kind of just inch and squinch to the upside. Still, have, have we have not yet, since this uptrend really started back in October of 2023, we have not really put in a, um, a lower high. These have all been higher highs. And now this is, this is what I'm waiting for. This is what I'm watching for. This is what I think is going to be very big. So on this chart, if we're able to actually come down on Bitcoin's price and go back below about 36,700, then in my opinion, I could see this trend potentially changing into a flush, a bigger dump. So um, that's a price target to watch out for, to see if we set a lower low instead of these lower highs we keep getting. Now, you, you do see we came and we squeaked out just a few days ago or just yesterday and the day before, the eensy weensy teensy weensiest little high that initially was the high of back in um, or on November 24th, about a week ago. And then five days went by and we kind of retested that and barely got above it. So we did get above that, that, that level, but we got above 38,000. 
but uh, ultimately it is it, it still is that top level so far we have not put in a very convincing one just yet but keep in mind look what happened when we initially had that bust on november 9th about a week later we came back and got rejected a little bit below that okay so that was kind of dumpy and we ended up though holding we ended up putting in another higher low and that's what enabled us over the past um couple of weeks to then continue up here so there has been no decisive movement uh, no decisive price action basically you put this here uh you can see this level of support as long as we hold above thirty-seven thousand, this trend is absolutely even in the short term still very intact now i do as i highlighted i do think we're in potentially for Bitcoin also, a, a couple week long ascending triangle. Now, a couple week long ascending triangle can be pretty good, right? That's pretty pumpy, could be pretty bullish. Well, what's even more bullish than a couple week long ascending triangle? The giga triangle, the nearly 600 day long giga gigantic monster triangle, ascending triangle that Ethereum is in. So we're still watching and waiting for that. That could break out tomorrow. It could break out next month. All I know is that once it breaks out, things will never be the same, okay? I don't mean to be hyperbolic. I don't mean to be overemphasizing or, you know, getting dramatic here. But guys, once Ethereum breaks out of this pattern, <laughs> things will never be the same, okay? Um, so, oh, I just, I got tingles. I got chills and a little bit of dripping down my leg when I said that. Oh my gosh, it's getting hot in here. But um, on this chart as well, um, you can see all the key daily moving averages Bitcoin has respected. Guys, the thing is when I look at this chart, so I, I know what I, I have my opinion on everything. Now, I just have a thought that keeps bubbling up that I just feel like I have to say it. It's not even something I really wanna talk about right now or really much in this video. When I see a chart like this, it makes me think, okay, you know, we gotta go back down to here. Um, and again, like I just said, I don't really want to be talking about that. It's not what the video is about. When I see a chart like this, though, it's just what I'm accustomed to believing because of how markets move, especially during a bear market. But as I've been saying over and over for the past few weeks, in a bull market, that does not necessarily have to happen. Now, as we all know as well, we have been getting closer and closer to the largest cross, literally, in the history of mankind, okay? Going back thousands of years, this is by far the largest chart since humans existed. And this is the golden cross between the 50 and 200 week, not day, 200 week moving average, absolutely gigantic, ginormous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are on our seventh green weekly candle for Bitcoin. When was the last time that we got seven green weekly candles for Bitcoin? Let's take a little trip down memory lane. Um, the last time that we got seven green weekly candles for Bitcoin was here, these seven weeks, when Bitcoin went from about 10,000 to 18,000, had a couple weeks testing that previous all-time high around 20K, and then initiated what at the time was the biggest bust since the beginning of mankind. But guys, that's the thing. Mankind has changed. And now we're about to have the biggest bust since the beginning of mankind. So first time having seven green weekly candles like this, this is big. We haven't had this weekly candle close. It's going to be another three days roughly until we get it close. Will this be seven green weekly candles or will this end up being a red weekly candle? Um, I have my opinions. I personally think that the likelihood of getting this weekly candle to be red is a little bit higher than it is to be green, even though I'm extremely bullish. Um, I just think that, uh, as I said, at some point, a real cool down, some sort of back test has to happen. The stock market today is down a little bit. Um, it's still kind of unable to get back above those uh, July 27th highs of about 4,600. We're still only like a percent, or way, a percent or two away, so it literally can happen in one day. It's not like a giant move. But the DXY is barely trying to hold on and try to have some life, right? The DXY here, right around 103, you can see it has a pretty big green candle today after weeks and weeks of getting dumped on. But that's exactly where resistance is, in my opinion. And I think this is, as I've been saying, the beginning of massive dumpulation for the DXY. I don't think this is going to um, start going up into a bullish trend. I think this is the beginning of a, a sustained dumpy. 
Massively big dumpy. The biggest dumpy potentially <laughs> since the beginning, say it with me, of mankind. Absolutely very big. Um, so with that being said, let's just take a look at all these charts. This is another reason that I think potentially Bitcoin is kind of stalling out here, okay? We've had a lot of momentum over the past two months, but you can see it's kind of right now stalling out a little bit. Um, this trend line is extremely important. It has dictated all of the major moves of this entire 2023 year so far, of which we are about to be entering the 12th and final month of this year. Where did this chart start? Right here, January 1st, 2023. Okay, you can see it right here. Every touch we've had on this line has precipitated a massive, gigantic, gargantuan, gargantuan move. And here we are. And I just have a hard time believing that we are not about to see some sort of massive move off of this. And that comes in two different, um, two different, uh, two different things, right? Dumpy down to here, pumpy up to here. Okay. So either way, I think volatility is incoming. And this chart is one that has captivated me I'm just oogling this chart 24 seven. Like when is the break gonna be happening? We've just been literally riding alongside this line for, well, okay. So I guess seven days we've just been, or wait, no, sorry, it, a month and seven days. So, I mean, about like 40, 40 days. Wow, 40 days we've been on this line. So a big move is coming. Um, so, you know, whether it is, I think we're going to be getting an ETH breakout soon. And I think that ties into everything here. Um, final chart probably to take a look at here is just this ascending channel, uh, this rising channel. And um, yeah, 37 is still perfect. You can see we do have support there. I'm waiting to see if we, if we get a pullback to there. What happens at 37K? Are we going to bounce there? Are we going to get dumped on? What's going to happen at 37K, right? Um, but if we hold 37K, we can easily, again, have a move to try and attempt to break those 38.5 highs and truly get up to 40K. You know how long it took to get above 30K, right? 30K was not easy. Well, I think 40, 40K is gonna be a, lit, uh, a little bit easier to get above, but I don't know if um, we're gonna be seeing that like today, tomorrow, or it might be a week or so away or a couple weeks away. Um, either way, defending these levels is very important because the higher we squinch up and up and up and up like this, let's just be honest, the higher the chance also, the, the more we do that, the higher the chance also we might have that flash dump, which is not a bad thing. It's not something to be scared of, but a lot of people get completely freaked out when we have those flash dumpies. And I'm here to tell you, sometimes we dump, sometimes we have an accident and sometimes we dump and we didn't want to dump. But the thing is, in life, we grow, we learn, and it's okay to dump. Just change your shorts and get back out there. As well, if you guys are interested in any bonuses, make sure to sign up with my links to Femex or, uh, Femex or BitGet below. Um, massive deposit and sign up bonuses. Also, great places to just get random altcoins. If you're looking for places to accumulate spot, uh, just buy altcoins. Without any further ado, just for me.